What's up guys, Kadir Apikonis here, and today we have a new gun to add to the collection, a Springfield Trapdoor. Um, however, before I get into the new gun that I purchased, I'm going to make an announcement real quick. Um, so on that trench gun video that I posted like five months ago or something like that, I ended up getting like 400 to 5,000 views on that thing. Um, definitely impressive. I mean, the, the 792 Carcano one got like 20,000. I thought that was cool, but shit, that thing's at like... 400,000 views the trench gun one, so that's pretty damn impressive. And from that, I also got a ton of subscribers. Uh, I had actually planned on doing something for 400 subscribers, um, but I'm at like 750 subscribers. Um, and when I say plan, I mean I was going to think about doing something, because I'm going to be honest, I didn't think about what the hell I was going to do for it. So just for now, for the in honor of 750 subscribers, we are going to do a Q&A. So any questions you have for that, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, I'll be pulling some questions from the YouTube video and also from iPhone too, uh, just to make sure we get enough for a video. Um, but anyways, let's get on to the purchase of today, a Springfield Trapdoor. Now, I took the serial number from this and ran it through the internet for a little bit, and it appears that this one's been made in 1891, something I kind of need to look a little more into. I kind of rushed looked it up, but 1891, possible, uh, is what this is dated at. I'm going to say it's pretty darn nice. Uh, everything is... Nice and crisp, moves around all good. Um, rifling is actually very darn good on this thing. Um, I actually had gone to the gun store today, number one, to buy ammo, but also I was going to pick up, they have this, uh, what's called like a Zulu shotgun. It's a converted French musket, the 12 gauge, uh, Black Fighter 12 gauge. Uh, I was going to pick that up for 300 bucks, and then they had this for 500 bucks. And I was like, well, I do need something in 45 7 so we picked up this, but uh, let's bring the camera a little closer. Now, just a fair warning, I will say there's going to be no shooting clips in this video. Uh, I just picked this up today, and of course, no one has any black powder loaded 4570 ammo. But I will say, for 500 bucks, this thing's pretty freaking nice. I'm pretty sure it's sporterized, uh, mainly because, I mean, they've made the carbine models where they had the wood forend cut back a little bit. But this, the wood forend actually seems a little bit long on this one, as if it was, you know, cut down from a rifle. That being said, I kind of don't mind it being sporterized. I think it actually looks a little bit nicer in this configuration. I always thought trap doors look kind of weird with the wood forend all the way to the front, kind of like Lee Enfield's. Now, what's cool about this thing is, is I actually have a lot of the reload components. I really just need the dies and the casings, because uh, as you know, I have that Beaumont, which uses the same uh, bullet as the 4570. I got a ton of lead, ton of black powder, all that stuff. So once the December gun show rolls around, I'm probably going to be picking up all this, the rest of the stuff to reload the casings with, and I'll also probably pick up a Snyder rifle, funny enough. But, uh, yeah, so as far as everything else is concerned, very nice, uh, everything's clean. Wood's got a real nice finish to it and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's your, uh, Springfield trap door right there. And I will say, one thing neat on these 84 models, trying to get that to focus, but, uh, Eh, yeah, whatever. One thing neat on the 84 models is they got about 15 different sight tools on this thing, which I actually, I'm going to be honest, I'm not as familiar with the uh, Springfields in general, but uh, I thought that was like an after adding, like an aftermarket added thing, but uh, I guess no, they actually did add all those friggin' sights to it. So yeah, that is the uh, new Springfield Trapdoor. Stay tuned, probably about a month when we'll actually be posting some shooting footage. Uh, hopefully I'll find my GoPro for that. And uh, yeah.